Perfect. Uh, today well, we shall be doing forecasting. That is our subject matter today. Forecasting. Forecasting of a regression model. I'm sorry it is not coming up. Forecasting. Yes. So that is our topics uh, today. Uh, so actually, uh, first, sorry, first we shall develop a regression model and afterwards afterwards uh, we shall be doing the forecasting of this regression model so first we shall develop a regression model and afterwards we shall be doing the forecasting of this regression model and here you can see we have three variables one is x y and z and here y is the dependent variable and x and z are independent variable and here we have data from 1980 until 1994 that means we have 15 years data so meaning that this model is a time series model from 1980 until 1994 okay in this model in this model so uh, so here here uh, so as so you can see our data range data range is is from 1980 to 1994 that is our uh, the that is our data range right okay out of this out of this out of this data range right uh, that range from 1980 from 1980 to 1990 out of this data range from 1980 to 1990 we shall be using for estimating or predicting predicting regression line Okay, from 1980 until 1990, we shall be using data for estimating or predicting regression line. But from 1991 to 1994, we shall be using data for forecasting okay 
so meaning that from 1980 to 1990 we shall estimate the regression model and from 1990 to 1994 uh, we shall use the data for forecasting so here all data are known all data are known right all data are known so we can call it uh, exposed we can call it exposed forecasting exposed forecasting exposed forecasting because the data are known all the data are known so we call it exposed forecasting okay okay now uh, now uh, first we 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 estimate the model from 1980 to 1990 so first I go to quick estimate equation right so y is the oh sorry so what I do first I, I show you all the variables right x y z I open all the variables as a group so here are the data variable z x y from 1980 until 1994 so uh, these are the variable time series model right from 1980 until 1994 so now we can estimate the regression model so I go to quick estimate equation so the first is dependent variable that is y then c is the constant x is the independent variable z is the independent variable and here uh, here we shall estimate the model from 1980 to 1990 so here I put 1990 so here I put 1990 meaning that I shall estimate the model from 1980 to 1990 and from 1991 until 1994 I shall be forecasting the model and you can see our model uh, actually is a static model our model is a static model not dynamic model because 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 here the dependent variable has not come as a independent variable here the dependent variable has not come as a independent variable so this model actually uh, actually a static model so we can estimate this model okay we shall now uh, estimate I put as a okay okay so this is my model right estimated model you can see from here why is the dependent variable and uh, and you can see 
the x is uh, significant right but z is not right z is not a significant variable okay and now our task is to forecast this model okay the question is that the question is that when we can forecast a model when we can uh, uh, we can uh, so that is the question comes up so the question is uh, when we can forecast a model what is the guideline so the guideline is I'm sorry uh, normally normally we can forecast a regression model when the model is free from all uh, 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 all uh, uh, free from from uh, free from I would say serial correlations right or free from heteroscedasticity uh, normally we can forecast a regression model when the model is free from serial correlation or free from heteroscedasticity or residuals are normally distributed right okay so meaning that uh, meaning that when the model is very good that means there is no serial correlation there is no heteroscedasticity and and the residual is normally distributed f statistics is significant r square is very high and so on only then the model is ready for forecasting so here you can see from here for our model r square is quite high you can see from here right R square see R square is quite high I can see from here and F statistics is significant so uh, so we are happy about it and X is significant right so we are happy about it now we check whether this model has serial correlation or not so I go to view residual diagnostic then serial correlations so here I take 2 lakh okay and you can see the Bruce Godfrey test observed R square and we cannot reject null hypothesis because P value is more than 5% so here the P value is 5.52 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis and and what is the null hypothesis there is no serial correlations so so this model is good so now uh, suppose suppose this model has no problem suppose we assume that this model has no problem meaning that no serial correlations no heteroscedasticity and so on so now we can use this model for forecasting okay we can use this model for forecasting